Sorry. That's okay. Konnichiwa, mina san. Hajime mo shite Max is always guessing us. Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Je m'appelle Max. Yoru bin en haseo Maximida. Hi everybody. Welcome back to another brand new live video for the girls, for the children, and for the fantasy tonight with Miss Jackson. Ooh. I like how every time you come in, you have like a different alias. It's like it's a different woman every time. It's awesome. It's like a plus, isn't it? Yeah. It's like you can tell your you can tell your uh, novio. You're like just pretend you're with a different woman every night. <laughs> We gotta get you wigs next. Wigs. Just to spice it up a little bit. Something. Part-time dominatrix. <laughs> that would be easy money. Masks. Ooh. Masks. So people like people don't know who I am. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So I was watching this uh, one YouTuber and he does like funny videos and he orders like crap off sh uh, Wish. Hey everybody, before I, before I digress, let me finish this story really quickly because it's funny. So he, was, he ordered like this like fake latex like pack and six pack. And he put it on and it kind of looked real. And I was like, I need to get one in a live stream like that. <laughs> like it had like these big old pecs. Did and you like get it with like like a sheer like shirt? Underneath? You know? Yeah. Or like just like an open up like a, like a Hawaiian tank shirt or something like yeah. that. And then that way I can walk around with like my... my... You could wear that outfit. <laughs> just just open it. Yes. yes. And have like See? this like fake six pack and fake pecs. <laughs> For the fan, but I'd probably be sweating like a pig underneath because it's so hot because it's like plastic latex. You just put like, just put some baby like powder. pads. Put some like, you know, like ice packs. <laughs> They'll be like, why do you have lumps on the side? Why are you leaking? <laughs> <laughs> one of my implants ruptured. <laughs> oh, but it was funny. I need to get one of those so that way I can live stream shirtless. But before, uh, before I go off with my crazy stories, you guys, we have Miss Jackson today. We're going to be doing a rebounds on her nail because remember, you guys, the longer you wait between your fill, the more work you have to do. So instead of doing your regular fill where you just put product at the back of the cuticle at where it's grown out, we're going to put product over the whole nail to rebalance the shape, make sure the integrity is really nice and snatched. And we're going to do a design that's very Mediterranean inspired today. We're going to use our Fun Gel 001, which is our blooming gel. So that way we can get these colors to mix and go like this. And it looks like a beta fish tail. It's very sexy, very, very nice. And you guys don't forget to tap that screen. Let's get to 20,000 views if we get to 20,000 20, likes. So tap that screen, it doesn't cost you anything. Tap, 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 send me those hearts. Let's get to 20,000 likes. And at the end, my love will pick a winner, winner, chicken dinner, and we're gonna send you out a little prize. So I'm excited, you guys. Also, the website, the new website has been killing the game. Everybody is so in love with it. I'm really thankful you guys are liking the beta version. Wait till you see the final one. It's gonna be everything. And we also added, um, for about over 40 nails right now, they have the measurement guide on them too, because a lot of people requested that, so you can see them in millimeters, because a lot of countries don't have inches. So instead of having both, we just put millimeters on there. So it'll have all the um, sizes and all the millimeters for your reference as well too. So I'm excited. Are you guys ready to begin the snatching of the phalanges? Let me know. The fantasy is ready. So let's turn this camera around you guys. Gotta angle the camera really nicely too. Let's do it. Let's do it. So that you guys have a good angle and can see the whole fantasy. Flip that camera. There we go. So this is what they look like now. Oh, they're and not on camera. It's a little delayed. And this is what they're gonna look like when we're done. And I'll zoom in so you guys can see. Ooh, look how beautiful that looks. And this is the before. So before and after. A little before and after moment. Look at that. How sexy! So let us begin the snatching. What'd you have for lunch today? I had Chipotle. Do you like Chipotle? It's okay. I mean, it was... What I like about... Um, there's a location near here that has uh, what is called a Chipotle Lane. And you just order it on the app and then you just go to the drive through and pick it up. You don't have to order it like on the on the thing. You're like, I'm here to pick up my order and it's done. Yeah. Ooh. You just pull up to the window and then they give it to you. It's great when you're in time crunch, huh? It's yes. like so convenient. So that was, um, that is what I ate today. I'm going to use the razor bit. I had Chinese food today. My mom's going to be like, you just came back from Asia. Aren't you tired of eating Asian food? <laughs> She tells me sometimes, she's like, you should have been born to an Asian family. You eat too much Chinese food. <laughs> but I swear it's so good. It's 
good. I had dim sum, so I like like little nibbles and things like that. Mm -hmm. Because of the diet medication I'm on, I can't have like one big meal or else I'll start yakking. Mm. So I like like little nibbles here and there. Well, I'm feeling peckish. Peckish. Oh, that's a word nobody uses anymore. No. Feeling peckish. Are we a good angle? Can everybody see? Yeah, we're in a good angle. Are you guys sending us those likes? Tap that screen, you guys. Let's try to get to 20,000. We have 1.1K likes. Come on, you guys. I know we can do it. Gotta put your back into it. Have you seen Cocaine Bear yet? I did. And how was it? <laughs> it's just, you know what? It had a very 80s, like cheesy, like horror feel. Really? You know? Yeah. It was good. It was, it was, I mean, it was, it's more funny than it was like, I mean, it was just entertaining. You I know? was contemplating watching it because it's free on Peacock. It's, it's on, it's on, uh, yeah, it's on Peacock. It's just, it's stupid. Really? Yeah. It's, it's like, it's like those cheesy, like 80 movies. So would but, you recommend uh, it or not, like, or? I mean, it's funny to just watch, you know. Or if you have something else to watch, watch that Do first. you like horror movies? Yes. Okay, then I think you would, like, you would think it was funny. Because I didn't, um, my mom started to watch Knock at the Cabin, but that just looks so long and existential, and I was like, no, that does this not is, look it, like it's, a good time. it's not long at all. Like, I think it's like an hour and, like, it's not even a full two hours. Oh, perfect. Yeah, it's not even a full two Don't hours. Don't you think that they're making movies way too long now? Some of them are like three hours, and they're the like Movies do not need to be, no, odysseys. No. No four-hour movie masterpieces. No, let's make a movie an hour and a half again. So that way we can like sneak into another one at the movie theater. <laughs> but now there's too much security no, at the you stupid can't, movie theater. No, you can't sneak in anymore. You know why? Hmm. Because you know how you order like the, the, you go to the movie theater and then you buy your seats, right? Like mm -hmm. on the phone or on the computer, right? So there's sensors on the seats. Really? And it shows the people like where, like which seats are like bought and which seats are like empty. And so if you like snuck in and you didn't buy that seat, like they can tell because there's a sensor on the seat. There's an ass yeah. on that seat. Yeah. So then people know that, yeah, that there's somebody sitting there when they're not supposed to be sitting Oh my gosh, there. that's crazy. Yeah. But I totally believe, so that's like a legit fact then, huh? Yes. Wow. Only Mrs. Cobb. Hi, Max. Hi, everyone. Hi. Thanks for joining us today, you guys. Uh, Don't forget nine. we have that 30% off promo code, SPRING30, to save 30% off your entire purchase. And that goes for every single item at Exclusive Nails, including our furniture and our electronics. And that is to celebrate the new beta, beta website and the updates that we're doing over the next few weeks. It's uh, me, my, Celine Lala. Hey, Max and company. Hi, oh, my love. Thanks for joining us today. We got people joining. So we're, we're at using, 35 now. We're using the unicorn bit right now to push back that cuticle, get rid of all that crusty molesties. Because these nails have been on since January, you guys. That's how long they've stayed on, which is incredible. That just goes to show you the staying power of the 123Go system and everything at enocouture.com. Because these were originally 123Go nails and we filled them with our acrylic. So that just goes to show you how versatile and how durable they are because she leads a very active lifestyle too. Like she's always up and about. It's not like she like uh, doesn't wash dishes or anything like that. I use my hands for everything. I everything. break my nails all the time. And, she and has, these have been like pretty sturdy. And she has not broken any nail. Diana 2619. Hey Max. And, and please don't model. look at my legs, you guys. I hate I'm so conscious about my my legs. You couldn't see them until you brought it to everybody. Really? But now they're gonna see them. My knee, that sexy knee action. So I'm going to start tapering the side because we're going to give her a nice little coffin moment. So taper, taper, taper. Ooh, the likes are going up. Yes, come through you guys. We want to give something away at the end of the video. Today we sent two, we, we sent two prizes out today. I think we sent one out to the last two winners, which was Connor and Miss Natasha. Natasha Jones from New York City. I like that name. It has a good ring to it, doesn't it? Yes. Live from New York City is Miss Natasha Jones. Love my 123 Go. They are super sturdy. Yes. 
and so many styles to choose from. And if you go on the website now, you can see the new pictures that we uploaded for some of them that include the size measurement guides that you guys have been asking for for such a long time. So we are, are in the next few weeks, going to be updating all the pictures. So go in and... Uh, Max, I got my order today. Your packaging is just adorable. Oh, thank person. you. I appreciate that. Max, this is a sign from God. What is? My legs? <laughs> Be more specific, my love, with the um, with the, the the messages from the Lord. Which one? <laughs> yes, your your I guess your legs. Fatima, Lourdes. Yes, Lexi Lu. La Virgen de Guadalupe. <laughs> Am I the new Juan Diego? Where do I pick the roses? Tell me. <laughs> and we're using the short football shaped drill bit from the Russian manicure drill bit set and go in and scrub, scrub, scrub. All right, we doubled our likes. Yes, come through likes. Have you seen the Super Mario movie yet? No, not yet. No? I, probably this weekend. So you guys have a busy weekend, huh? Yes. I love this packaging. I don't even throw away the boxes. Aren't they adorable? They're so cute. And you can definitely reuse them. So is Vince your little uh, movie uh, buddy? Yes. Aww. I like to go to the movies with my mom too. Because yeah, we're like, we're total like movies, uh, mo mo like we're always with movies. What the, bit is this? This is from the Russian Manicure Drill Bit Set. So the set comes with a whole bunch of different bits. It comes with seven or eight. I can't remember off the top of my head. And it comes in this beautiful pink case. And it's perfect for prepping the nail. That's the purpose of it. We watched one before I left. It was a movie in Spanish, but it wasn't Mexican. It was Guatemalan, actually, about the La Llorona. Mm -hmm. And it was about the Guatemalan genocide in 1983. And how, like, uh, the general, he was going to trial. And the spirit of La Guatemalan Llorona was coming after him. It was really interesting. Uh, what about the Guadalupe? Oh, she said it was a message from the Lord. So I was like, what, where? Where is this message? And I was referencing La Virgen de Guadalupe. And she also gave messages to Juan Diego. I love that you go to the movies with your mom. Aww. And Miss Jackson goes to the movies with her son, too. That's I the do. best movie, I do. buddy. Do you sneak things in your purse? Sometimes. Gotta sneak in those uh, Big Macs. Sometimes. But I love movie popcorn. Oh, it's so good. Lovely popcorn is like my vice. It's the devil. I'm running low on products and click on TikTok and you popped up. That oh, was the sign. That is Gee, a sign from was. the Lord. He does work in mysterious ways. And you're supporting American companies and American manufacturing. So let's remove the dust. And don't forget, right now we have that promo code 30% off using promo code SPRING30. Which movie theater do you go to? Um, depends. Like, it depends what we're going to go see. Uh, but I, just, I usually... We go to all of them, really. Have you seen the new John Wick? No. I saw the first John Wick, finally. My, uh, yeah, my son is into John Wick. I, you know... Do you know Keanu Reeves is part Chinese? Yeah, but he has like, uh, I think he's, he has like... He's, Chinese and English. Yeah, he's, he has multiple um, he, like nationalities. That's why he's so handsome, because he's a good mix. I always sneak in snacks. Yeah, I usually sneak in candy, but I usually I'm, get the popcorn. Thing. I'm really ghetto, so I have this giant duffel bag, and I stuff it all the way, because I have to go to the movies with my mom and my dad. My dad likes to go to the movies. <laughs> I think it's funny to watch him go to the movies, because he like... He squints his eyes like this. I don't know if the camera can see me, but it's like he's focusing them to like. <laughs> but thank, oh, this is gonna sound so mean, but when he was able to talk, he would ask like, is this the same movie that started right now? <laughs> is this the same character? And we were like, shut up and watch the movie. So now he doesn't, <laughs> he just goes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm like, dad, did you enjoy the movie? He goes, mm-hmm. Yeah, mother 16. Hi, I'm new here. Hi, I was love. on your last live and I just want to say I love your energy oh, and thank glad you. I found you. I appreciate you. Thank you, my love. Let's use our famous mix of our acrylic. We're going to use Racer Clear mixed with Eternal Beige today for the fantasy. Yes, most movie theaters out here have the reclining seats. They're super comfy. And cold. Yo te vas, Gloria. Al baile. A cual te toca ahora? Ooh, y no invitas. 
Pero está quedando muy bien allá atrás, ¿verdad? Hay que aprovechar mañana temprano también, antes de que empiece a hacer más calor. Ahí te encargo la Ceci, Gloria. And I'm going to do two beads because one at the cuticle area for the fill and then another one to rebalance out the shape because when I file them, I'm going to make sure they grow out straight. We don't want them humping down like lima beans. Lexi Lu to you uh, said, going over to the website, I'll be right back. Let me know what you think of the new website, my love, too. So when you're applying acrylic at the cuticle area, it's super important to angle the nail down. Why? Because gravity is going to do the work for you, mama. The acrylic will run away from the cuticle, not into it. So that way you can work faster. Because remember, you guys, time is money. And this section, she's got to go to the club. She's got to go shake it. I do. You know what movie I can't wait to go see is The Little Mermaid. Well, that should be coming out soon, right? Yeah, next month. Ooh, we're at 5.8k likes. Yes, come through, you guys. Tap that screen. Let's get to 20,000. I'm not a big fan of Melissa McCarthy, but from the, the previews I've seen of her as um, Ursula, she looks like she brought it. The new site is much smoother, said Natasha JJ516. Oh, awesome. I'm so glad you love it. I appreciate that. We put a lot of work into it on behind the scenes. And it's been a project that we've been working on for a little over three months. What is the playlist? I keep tapping the screen to the beat. So it is Euromix. So it's like 90s, early 90s, late 80s, like Euro dance club music. But I also um, change the speed. So that way it goes faster. So that way the video won't get demonetized or taken down. I can't wait for the Little Mermaid. Me too. And the girl that plays Vanessa looks just like Vanessa in the cartoon. I think that's why people are so upset with Ariel. I think this is more like, instead of a remake, it's more like a reimagining is how you have to look at it too. Yeah. But uh, the girl that's playing Vanessa looks just like Vanessa in the cartoon too. And surprisingly, she has a pretty big like fan base of Vanessa. I was older when I found out who Vanessa was. Who's Vanessa? Ursula as a human. Oh, I did not know that either. I was older when I found and out. And I love Little Mermaid. And I, Little Mermaid has the best music out of any I Disney movie. I love Little Mermaid. It's, it's definitely like one of my like top favorites. And I think the girl that's going to play Ariel, Halle Bailey, mm -hmm. I think she's so pretty. Like She's so fresh-faced and young and cute. And um, she has a really good singing voice, too. She was actually discovered by Beyonce. Beyonce's in everything. She is. She's got her finger in everything, huh? money discovering artists that money, honey. tours so technically it's like Beyonce is the little mermaid if you think about it yeah because she discovered her she's like the RuPaul for uh, for uh, new so uh, new up-and-coming uh, celebrities I wonder if she signed her on to a label or something yeah her sure, and her sister right? are a duo but can you imagine how hard that must be to know your sister's gonna be the Little Mermaid? Like, yeah. the biggest movie ever, and you're stuck in the back. What? Well, she has to do something. <laughs> For real, it's like, but that's the good kind of jealousy, though, I think. Even though there is no such thing as good kind of jealousy, I would be like, I mean, if somebody said, oh, you're gonna be so-and-so, I'd be like, oh, what about <laughs> me? Like, if somebody said my brother was going to be a Power Ranger, I'd be jealous. I'd be furious. I'd be happy for him. <laughs> but I would punch a wall. <laughs> like, I would break a plate or something. I would be pissed. But I would be happy for him, too. Didn't her sister just come out in a gospel movie? Maybe. But, I mean, she's going to be the Little Mermaid. She's going to be Ariel. Like, yeah. you can't top that. So now let us shape these phalanges. So we're going to do a coffin moment. So... When you're filing, instead of filing a straight angle like this, we're gonna file in a V formation. Like Beyonce says, formation. See, it all goes back to Queen B. See? See? Formation. So in a V formation like this to taper in the nail. But you know what song I hate and what singer I loathe? And it's so catchy, the song. The Body Shop. Doing something unholy. You don't like that song? I don't like Sam Smith, AKA Miss Piggy. We are at 
two likes. But that song is catchy though. It is catchy. He looks like he would stink. I don't know. <laughs> Miley Cyrus too looks like she would smell bad. <laughs> Doesn't she look like she would smell like patchouli and like sweat? That's what I imagine Miley Cyrus smells like. I miss Miley Cyrus when she was crazy and like on like really hard narcotics. Okay. That was my favorite Miley Cyrus. She might get I, there her again. bangers. I liked her bangers she, era. She might get there again. Well, this last song that she came out with was pretty good. The flowers. Yeah. But it's not as like upbeat as bangers. Well, cause she's depressed. Well, she can get over it. She'll be fine. Depressed. She's what is she depressed her about? Husband. The, the Did they get married? About, yeah, it's about her husband and how, like, he, how it just, like, their marriage just, like, fell apart. Well, that's her fault for marrying a cheater. Because yeah. he cheated on her once. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Facts. So, she brought that upon herself. Facts. Uh, I remember being the Little Mermaid for Halloween when I was a kid many years ago. Really? Were you serving it? Were you living? And do you know the original Little Mermaid was actually based off Alyssa Milano? Really? Yeah, if you huh. think about it, you're like, it kind of does look like Alyssa Milano does. a little bit. It does. The guy that drew Ariel was a big fan of Alyssa, Alyssa Milano. Alyssa Milano is... Never mind. I was gonna say she's my era, but then people are gonna know. <laughs> You're like they're the darkest secrets. They're gonna know that Miss Jackson is really Miss Jackson's age. <laughs> um, it was based off of Alyssa Milano, but they were gonna make Ariel blonde, but then Splash came out, oh. and Daryl Hannah was blonde, so like let's make her redhead. Mm -hmm. But Splash came out in the '80s, and Little Mermaid came out in the early '89. Oh, '89. I, I was gonna say early '90s. November 89, so pretty much. And then Ursula is based off Divine. Do you know who Divine is? No. A drag queen that was in Hairspray. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. That's who yes. Ursula was inspired yes. by. And now as an adult, I recently heard um, Poor Unfortunate Souls. I was like, darn, Ursula, she's got... She's something else. She's yeah. looking nice. No. Because she's like, men don't like a woman that talks a lot and this and that and use your body language and I was like Ursula she knows what's up yeah she would like move shake around. her big old titties yes dude I was like wow get it Ursula well she knew what she was talking about yeah cause she was like Ariel was like that's how she had all those souls like trapped up down there Ariel's like how am I she's, supposed to talk to him she's yeah. like you don't need to talk you got you got a pretty face mm -hmm. and don't forget body language that's all you need mm -hmm. and apparently it's pretty much but it true. worked it works even to this day it worked you got a pretty face and you got I, body I language. Go to, I need to go to Ursula's uh, <laughs> cave. I need to go to Ursula's, yeah, lair so I could uh, get some pointers. She's like, I'll help you out. So now let's get those sides nice and snatched. Her face got her a prince and a castle. What else does she need? And the body language. Yeah. Shoot. I need a prince and a castle. She's like, he didn't care what you sounded like or what you said. He was like, eh. And for real, like he picked her up from the ocean and he like moved her in right away. Yeah. He maybe he was needy. He was lonely. He was lonely and needy. Uh, Miss Tra Miss Miss Tracy. Looking amazing. Thank you, love. We are snatching up the Phalange Fantasy today, making it right, making it tight. 12.6 likes. Well, come on, you guys, tap that screen. Who's gonna win at the end of the video? Do you still smell monomer even with the cotton candy scent? Yes, we have two monomers on our website. We have Pink Magic, which is our fast dry, and then the cotton candy monomer, which is our original, a normal setting monomer, which is still available. Often imitated, never duplicated. Hello, Sandy from Safford. I Hi. need my nails done. Hi, Sandy. Long time no see. I hope you're staying out of trouble. I hope the boys are you're keeping them in check. Because I know the boys love them some Sandy.
Would you do like a blind dating show now that they're like so popular now? No. No? Love is blind or what's the I'm other one? I'm gonna tell you what, dating as an older person is ridiculous. I hate every minute of it. Do you like older men or younger men? Um, I don't know, I don't care. I think it's just as long as they're cool, you know? But do you have a type? I do have a type and it does not work, so. Because now people are scared to talk about their type because they're like, they don't want to offend anybody, but like, I there's nothing wrong with having a type. I definitely have a type. And, and you know what, like every single time I like stray that way, mm -hmm. like it crash and burns. Awful. That bad. Uh, it said, Sandy said, everyone is good. Thank you. Boys are doing good. How is your granddaughters? Your grandbabies? Yeah, it's, it's bad out there. I'm, I'm cool. And then there's a lot of crazies out there. Yes, a lot of weirdos. A lot of weirdos. You know, during the pandemic, like everything was like shut down. And so, like, I was like, okay, like, I'm gonna try like a online, like, dating, you know, so I can meet people. Cause mm -hmm. we couldn't really go anywhere, right? To like meet people. Horrible, horrible, horrible all around. So there was this meme that I saw that said, if I wanna try online dating uh, and waste my time, I'll just call tech support or something like that. Yes, it's legit that. Um, which bit are you using? I'm using, her name is Miss Superstar Drill Bit and this is available at enocouture.com and this bit does it all and you guys will see, I use this to clean the inside of the nail, I use it to refine the shape on top, it just does everything, it's so incredible. It works for any medium as well too, acrylic, gels, happy gels, anything, poly type products. Sandy has 28 grandkids. Oh my so. gosh. 28 grandkids? <gasps> Sending you good vibes for your dating life. You will find him. Yeah, maybe. It's fine. I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> Those nails are going to look so good when done. Yes. 20. I can't get over 28 kids. 28 grandkids. Yes. And I think nowadays, in America, the construct of like a, a monogamous relationship, people find that toxic now. Yeah, people don't, don't. They're like, you want just one person? Like, oh no, I need like multiple partners at that the same is, time. That's like, ridiculous. I don't know. Those are social constraints. And like, well, why do you want to have to have your cake and eat it too? What? Then I feel like those kinds of relationships don't last that long. Say, Alice is queen is late to the party. That's all right. You better made it. late than pregnant. You made it. <laughs> no, nobody wants to be. I don't know, maybe some people do that. And the South Korean government wants you to be pregnant. Let's see. We're at 14.4 likes. Come on, you guys, tap that screen. Let's get to 20,000. And at the end, Miss Jackson is going to pick a winner, winner, chicken dinner. There's no respect or love in relationships anymore. Agreed. Super vapid. Would you go all the way on the first date? No. No? No. The second one? No, I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Definitely not on the first one. Because then you become too easy, huh? Yes. Daddy, you don't know what you're going to get. That's like, come on, man. Like, there's a lot of things out there that you can catch. Even if you're careful. That you need penicillin for. I'm like super picky about everything, let alone like... Well, what if you, like, you wait till like the second or third day and then you see it and you're like, oh, wah, wah, wah. Yeah, bye. <laughs> really? You're a size queen? <laughs> Goodbye. I have been with my, with the same man, my soulmate, for going on 12 years. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. Congratulations. That's respect. Respect to you all. Do you like him tall or short? Tall. Very tall. Yeah. Over six feet. Yeah. What's the minimum? Six one, six two. Well, I I mean I, I like a, a tall person, gentleman. a tall gentleman. But if uh, I don't know if I if I met somebody that was shorter, then that'd be fine too. Someone that was like five eleven, six feet. You're yeah, like, that's oh, okay. I have to make an effort. I have to sacrifice. <laughs> it's okay. Would you date somebody that goes by like? That would be like non-binary or like them they. 
I mean, if they're nice to me and they, mm. you know, I mean, it's people. People are all become, you know, all. Shapes you're like, and if he's sizes. rich, if he's gonna die soon, then why not? <laughs> Everybody has a type. What about older? I mean, if they're nice and good looking, and can be my sugar daddy, absolutely. Hit your zaddy, isn't that what the girls yes, on Instagram yes, were saying? Yes. Your zaddy. All about personality. Yeah, as long as they have a good personality and they treat you good. You How know? many? What kind of car he drives? Uh, that's like, see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, that's all stuff that when you're younger, like. My mom says that when she met my dad, they went to the nightclub because that was like where you would meet people back in the days at discotheques, right? Uh huh. And then she says her and her friends were pulling up and she's like, oh, look, there's a, I think it was a Mustang or a Corvette. And she's like, I'm going to dance with that guy. And guess who it was? <laughs> it was my dad. Yeah? Yeah, when he was good looking. And the next day he's like, do you want to go to um, Kino or something like that? And she was like, okay. But she had to go with the chaperone, because back in the day, you yes. had to go with your chaperone. I've scared off lots of guys when they ask me, what are you looking for? I say, a husband. Uh, I send them running when they find out I'm on dialysis. Oh my gosh. That's not nice. No, that's terrible. But at least you're honest about that, though. Yeah. So props to you. Get rid of them now. Why waste your time? You know what I mean? I think I just scare men off in general because I'm very like... Um, because of that big booty? <laughs> no, I think they like the big booty. They're intimidated <laughs> by it. I think that uh, they're intimidated by my uh, very independent personality. Mm -hmm. And so I think that that like, men don't like that. They want somebody that's more submissive? Yeah, like they want somebody that's just gonna... You're you like, know. you need to go back in time for and that, I'm sir. like, you know what? I'm not the one. You're like, you need to go back in time if you want those kinds of women. <laughs> would you be offended if they asked you to pay for your like on your first date like a meal or something go dutch no because then like you know i don't feel like i would have to owe them anything if anything like you know i i've like offered right because i don't want to like feel like i don't want to have them feel like they're entitled to anything else because they paid for a meal right Really? Is that how like petty guys are nowadays? Yes. For buying a meal, you're like, okay, you got to put out now. Yeah. Oh my gosh. For real. Really? Yes. That's why I'm like, nah, man, I got my stuff, thanks. And like, are they taking you somewhere nice or like Chili's? It depends. Depends what it is. But even if they take you to Chili's and they still expect you to put out? I mean, I haven't had that experience, <laughs> but like, people are petty. Wow. Mm -hmm. I have seen a TikTok of this guy. He was like trying to take this girl home, and she was like, I'm fine. And he's like, but I took you out. Like, I paid for your meal. And she was like, thank you. But, like, what do you expect? Right. That's terrible. It's terrible. Terrible. Okay, we're at 15.3. Oh, come on, you guys. I can taste a giveaway. We're so close. Wow, nobody wants to take me out. Nobody wants to buy me even hamburger stand. Corn dog. <laughs> hamburger stand. 49 cent hamburgers. Poor Max. But that's okay. When I was in Korea, what my friends were like, oh, aren't you sad, like, being single and, like... No. I was like, no. I was like, look at you two. One of you has a relationship and you cheat on him all the time. And the other one, when he broke up with his girlfriend, he got depressed, like, clinically depressed and had to get on medication. Yeah, no. I was like, why would I want to put myself in that boat? No, not at all. There's a saying in Spanish, it's sola nací, sola me voy a morir. Yeah, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I'll take you out. What do you friend, look like? Friend, zero, two, six. What then do you look I'll like? I'll take you out. What's your credit score? Do you have a 401k? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I like, uh, I like barbecue. I like some steak. Will you take me to go have some nice steak? The last time we were here, you were asking somebody else for steak. Really? Yes. I love meat. And I had the worst steak in my life at the Gucci restaurant in Korea. It was disgusting. She said, yes, I do. And I do nails too. Ooh. Do you have long legs? I love a pair of long legs, like a gazelle. <laughs> so you're a leg person. I am. I love a good leg man. I am a leg man. 
My brother's an ass man though. Yeah? Yes. Both of his like both uh, his long-term relationships have been with women with big booties. But I love long legs. Hence round face, that's why he's got that round little body. I have a leg sleeve. What's it's a leg sleeve? Cute. I don't know what a leg sleeve is. Oh, a tattoo, like a leg, oh. like a, a sleeve, like a tattoo. So I'm using my pink cuticle scissors right now to go in and trim, trim, trim. Very carefully, just any excess dry non-living tissue. How many siblings do you have, Max? Um, my dad has four from his first marriage. And with my mom, there's two. So technically, there's six of us, but um, I grew up with just my brother because the other ones are a lot older. So, and they live in a different state, so I didn't really grow up with them. But um, when I was a baby, like they would take care of me and things like that too. Like my mom says that they would change my diaper because they were so much older than me. Look at that, so clean and fresh now. Well, we're at 17.2 likes. Oh, come on you guys, we can do it. We're gonna go in with our gels. So the first one we're gonna use is our blossom gel or our blooming gel, which is Fun Gel 001 that I have here somewhere. Here it is. And we're gonna do a really thin coat over the whole nail, so that way we can spread the colors out. Now I always tell people you don't need anyone to make yourself feel special. No. You do that yourself. Nobody should make you feel any more or any less of a person. It's all psychological. And with blossom gels, you guys, I personally don't like to apply them all the way to the end, to the sides of the nail. I leave a little bit of space because since I'm going to go in with the colors and they spread out with this product, I like to leave that space so that way it won't widen up the nail. We want to keep the nails looking skinny, mini. We're at 18.4. We can do it, you guys. Come on, tap, tap, tap. And you know what I hate too about those kinds of situations? Small talk. I loathe small talk. <laughs> like, what do you do? What's your favorite color? Yeah, no, like, it's too much. Especially after like an age, I totally like can see what you mean. It's like, oh. Yeah, I, I'm okay. I'm okay by myself. Like, I go out, I have fun, I do what I gotta do. But you know what? Like, I'm, I'm it is what it is, yeah, as they say. It's okay. Does your mom say, "I oh, need to find somebody"? Ah, uh, no. Like she's. She knows what kind of guys are out now. Yeah, she's like she's cool with it. Like she, she doesn't really care. Did your ex find somebody? Yes. <gasps> he remarried? No, he or didn't did... remarry. But he's but with he like is living? With somebody. Mm -hmm. He's living in sin. Yes. <gasps> yes. Are you guys cool or no? No, we're not. <gasps> None of us are cool with really? each other. Really? Yeah. Thank God they live on the other side of yeah. the world. That's okay. That's good. So the colors we're going to use, you guys, I have them already on my tiara palette, but I'm going to go over them really quickly with you so that way um, you have this for reference so that way nobody asks again. So the orange is a BB-164 from the Halloween collection. The Tiffany's Blue is a Fun Gel 134 from Supergirl. The white is Gel Polish 001. The like kind of like Mediterranean Blue is 186 from Playmate, also from Fun Gel. And the gold glitter is Coffee Latte 144, also from Fun Gel. We're at 20! Yay! That means the Kraken has been released and at the end of the video we're going to do a live giveaway. So we're going to go in, I'm going to use my liner brush, my vegan 4 pack, and we're going to add a little bit of this orange for the Fantasia. Oh, in September I might go to Mexico City again. Oh yeah? Yeah, so that way you can go. When is September? Um, I don't know. Because it's my great aunt's 90 thump of a birthday. Oh wow. The one that was an actress. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. she says that she's still in her 70s. Hey, if she feels 70, by all. I felt so bad when we went in February. We saw her for like an hour only. Because we went to lunch and she was a little bit late. 
And then like as like we didn't even finish our meal because we had to go see the musical. Oh yeah, that's and right. And she was like, You guys are leaving? You're like, Yeah, we have a musical. We're sorry, we'll see you in a few months. <laughs> Please don't die. Oh no. <laughs> so now we're gonna go in with like this beautiful Mediterranean blue. E3 Virgo is talking about how um, um, her and her partner moved a lot but then ended up finding each other. Moved a lot how? Like uh, with my different fiance people? Of t my fiance of 12 years was my first kiss. Really? We were 11 years old. Oh my gosh, how are her dwarves is that? And now they're like engaged. But make sure you get a prenup, honey. Yes. You gotta be smart. What's yours is yours, and what's his is yours. Yes. Like the state of California, that place would be horrible to get married in. <laughs> Even and for divorced. women, too. Because one of the real hospitals, she's like, if I get divorced right now, her husband was in hospice, she would have to pay alimony to him in hospice. Like, he's dying, and she would have to pay uh, alimony. Nuts. I was like, wow, what a great state. What great laws they have in, in California. Twenty twenty-two. Like, yes, keep liking games. you guys. Keep sending. At the end of the video, Miss Jackson is gonna pick the winner winner chicken dinner. And remember winner, you guys it is winner. picked at random too. We We do a scrolly and stop. And she picks I have nothing to do with who wins. Oh, I love this like Mediterranean blue moment. And then a little bit of gold. Two. 22.4 K. Doesn't this gold make it pop though? So beautiful. It's really pretty. And the color again is 144 from Coffee Latte from Punjab. <laughs> What's so funny? The song, the guy's like singing all fast. <laughs> it's like scam music almost, huh? <laughs> Giving Little Mermaid vibes. Yes. yes, Mediterranean. I said it was like a kind of like a beta fish tail. And before we move on to the next nail cleaner brush. So, what did you buy at the Pokemon store? All those Pokemon cards, you see? Oh, I see. I see. Those, and then I have some more that I put up here too. To expand my ever growing collection. You're gonna need a whole like museum. It's an investment, is what I tell my uh, portfolio manager. Love this set. It is so freestyle and fun. And so easy to replicate too, you guys. And you can do this design in pretty much any color and have fun with it. That's the most important part about nail art, is having fun. I think people forget to have fun when they're doing nails and then they like overthink it and it's not fun anymore. Max has been doing freestyle on my nails for lots of years. How old is Vince? 15. So like 16, 17 years almost? Yeah, about 17 years. That's crazy that we've known each other so 17 years, Max. And you don't age. You get like you're like wine. You get ah, better with thank age. Thank you. And me, I am like uh, I reverse. I'm like Benjamin Button. No, you look great. Next time, in the next 17 years, I'm just gonna be a fetus. <laughs> you're gonna go to Korea to get surgery. <laughs> I'm not like, can you make? Girl, me do you have the fetus? <laughs> I'm gonna tell the doctor, can you make me an embryo? <laughs> I just wanna be really young. <laughs> That's how long how young I wanna look up. That is the best thing I've heard all day. <laughs> I wanna look like a fetus. Please. I'm just gonna put it to a picture of Jesus and be like, he's the only one that can help you. Alright, you're sticking your head in the camera again. Oh sorry. Now I'm just wiping the sides. 
to remove any excess so we can keep the shape nice and skinny mini and also you guys when you're working with blooming gels don't over swirl the designs because remember the gel has movement it'll do it for you so it's really important just to a little bit and then we're going to bake this for one minute Speaking of which, I need to check to see if they answered my question about my stitches because I have stitches behind my ears from my mini facelift and uh, <laughs> That's what I was just thinking of all. That's going to be a challenge game. <laughs> they have not taken them off. My stitches. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> so they're going to get like embedded into me, my stitches. I guess I'll be like pulled up tighter, huh? It might help. It might help. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. And then she was in shock because I told her I was awake during the whole procedure. And then like as soon as the doctor was in, he's like, Max, open your eyes, we're done. You can go home now. And I was like, really? Uh, they're asking if they're not dissolving. Sorry, they couldn't. They were losing what I was saying because of my giggles. Sorry, I laugh really hard. Um, go to urgent care. They're gonna charge me like a hundred bucks to take out stitches or 200 or 300. Urgent care is so expensive. Like why are doctors so expensive in America and medication too? Because medication costs pennies to make. Because it's just a bunch of chemicals that probably make you worse. <laughs> no, it was great. You had me laughing too. <laughs> <laughs> what, my fetus joke? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> my skin's gonna be all transparent. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're just gonna be like, like a silicone bubble <laughs> with like fluid. I look so young now. I'm unborn. I'm gonna ask my mom to feed me with a with a tube, directly to my belly button. Just feed me warm V8 juice because it's low in calorie. Oh my god. You can take it out now, dear. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna see how it though. Oh no, I gotta put the glitter in the back. <laughs> I forgot about the sparkle sparkle. Oh yeah, oh yeah. A little bit of 159 from Magic Syrup. Just a little bit back here. Ooh, 25k. Ooh, come through, Pink Army. Have you ever seen the show Absolutely Fabulous from England? No. No, you've never seen it? You need to check it out. It's like an older sitcom, but it is the funniest thing ever. It's about these two alcoholic rich ladies that work in PR in England. And she's I like, I it. just need things. I need beautiful things. Like, she's <laughs> she's uh, very decorating her kitchen, and she's like, I just want it to look like things, like pretty things. Like, you know that dish at the dentist? Like that. I want it to look like that dish you spit in. I just want it to look... <laughs> So now I'm gonna feather it really lightly around the cuticle and down so that way it is really seamless. So our trip to Thailand is gonna take two weeks just to get there. I already told you you're gonna you're gonna when you buy your yacht teleport. Oh yeah, we're gonna teleport. That's right. Forget the yacht situation. Yes, we're gonna teleport there. Good, and put that in. We'll get a yacht in Punta Mita. We're gonna get your yacht, and then like Power Rangers. No, the Punta Mita is not even big enough to have a yacht, dude. Oh, like, it's that small? Up in a yacht? Yes. You're gonna I'm, knock down the whole. It is literally like three streets. You're gonna knock down the uh, the the You're gonna the knock shacks. down the whole. <laughs> You're gonna knock everything down. Like the Titanic. <laughs> You're just gonna roll up on the beach. <laughs> There's gonna be nowhere to dock. Cause there isn't, dude. Wow, why do people like make such a big deal about it then? How long are you having your spring sale? Uh, the spring 30 is gonna be good for about one week. So you have about four or five days left. Okay, you can take it out now. And now we're gonna apply Wonder Gel over the whole surface. Um, Lexi, Lou to you. I bought some summer gel, foils, one, two, three, nail tips, and bubblegum gel. Awesome. Did you go on the new website? Did you take advantage of that 30% off sale? I think they were the one that was going to leave and go to the website. And oh, she already did her yeah, shopping? Yeah. She don't waste any time. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Have you liked the new website? Around. I think I asked her already, right? Yes, she said yes. I want to go to Vegas. I haven't seen the new website uh, yet. Check out the beta version that's live right now. With what? With your, uh, with your new uh, cosmetic look. look. The fetus look. <laughs> <laughs> Super sunken in cheeks. Uh, love it. Very easy to order. Awesome. Thank you. I'll go look at it after the live. Said the hot press nails. Um, that's great. I can't wait to order. I'm gonna, my, my new selfie is gonna be like, um, what are those prenatal pictures called? An uh, uh, sonogram? An ultrasound. <laughs> An ultrasound. That's gonna be my new selfie. I'm gonna look so young. I'm gonna be really serving youth. Embryo look. Yes. <laughs> Comments are the best. What's um that that procedure when they like uh, fertilize the baby in a daffin dish, in a little dish? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's uh... In vitro? Yes. IVF. I want to look like an IVF. Like I want to look as, <laughs> like when they're still in the pastry dish. Now you sound like that lady with the with the with the tooth with the toothful. She's like, I just want to look. <laughs> She's still laughing about the fetus. I know, girl. I cannot stop. I want to look young. I want to look like a fetus. <laughs> I just picture Max like in like a silicone bubble with like liquid. Just like when Lady Gaga was wearing, at the Grammys, wearing wearing a Gucci, wearing the Gucci like ouch, <laughs> a Gucci diaper, creamy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and bake that. Oh my god! I want to wear. Sorry, I know I'm inappropriate, but that I want to wear creamy clothes. Can you Shoot. imagine? Oh my goodness. It, like if I if I'm on a skinny day, like if I pooped really well, I can fit into a boys 1314 shirt. Everybody is roaring on here. Really? You guys are mocking my uh just uh, uh with the umbilical umbilical cord wearing designer. <laughs> you should put an ultrasound pic of your of you as your phone. <laughs> That's gonna be my, my new selfie. I wonder if my mom has any, she probably does. <laughs> But is it true that when you're pregnant with a boy, it's all panza, and when it's a girl, it goes everywhere? I had just a panza, and I had a boy, but, you know. Because when I saw the picture of uh, my mom pregnant with me, she just had this huge belly out to the front. I had a huge belly. I had a huge belly. And she's like, I didn't get weight anywhere else, just my stomach. Because her doctor was like, we're going to do that one more time. Her doctor was like, miss, you need to get back into your jeans after having your kid. Did you wear a faja after? Um, yes, I did. I did. Gotta wear a faja um, 40 days. And it, it helps, you know. But, you know, like, I don't know, my belly was really big. Vincent was really big, but just still got the belly. You know? <sighs> well, you know what you should make him do? Pay for a tummy tuck. That's what my mom did. Make you pay for her tummy tuck? Yeah, I paid for her tummy tuck. She's like, you did this to me, so it's only fair that you pay for it. You know it. what? That's fair. You know, <laughs> so I gotta make sure that I, my son gets to school or gets a successful job. Gets a loan. Yeah. So that way he can pay for your tummy tuck. That's right. And I paid for a breast lift too. Isn't that nice of me? You know what? You might have to start writing all this down. <laughs> You're like, Vincent, this is what you owe me. I gave birth to you, so you need to pay for my titties and for my tummy tuck. So after the hand comes out of the lamp, we're gonna wait 10 seconds, let the nails finish the polymerization process, and then we're gonna hit it with cotton candy cuticle oil. Everybody now, is cracking up. At the tummy tuck or at the uh, the no, fetus joke? Everything, like I'm rolling, like everybody's cracking up. Must be nice, I want my mom, I want someone to pay for my plastic surgery. Nice. I can pay for it myself. I have to work for it. 
never a dull moment. Never a sure. dull moment. There's never a dull moment. But that's why I say, you know, my plastic surgery doesn't hurt anybody because I play with it with my own money. Yeah, it's your own money. You're doing your own money. Oh, and then look at the picture I have like right in front of my desk when I work. It's like a Korean boy band member. That's the first thing I look at. And here is our completed fantasy for today, you guys. Look at that. Oh, she had twins, she said. We came out so pretty. Look at, they almost have like a 3D effect to them, too. They're going to grow out so beautifully, too, because we did the, the marble design almost to the back, but we left a little bit of space so that way it can grow out really beautifully. She is ready. Well, my loves, that's going to wrap up our little demo for today. Oh, wait. I oh, forgot. You have to pick okay, the winner. Right, hold on. Let me, let me scroll. Ready? I'm scrolling. And I'm going to stop. Fat Tuesday. Some big Frida nails. Diana2619. Have you won within the last month, Miss Diana? Let us know in the comments below. Woo! Thank you all for... Uh, and do you live in America? In. Let's see what she says. Da, 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 da. You there, Miss Diana? Uh, thank you. No, yes, in America. Yes. Awesome. So go ahead and send an email to info at enocouture.com and let them know you're today's winner, winner chicken dinner. And we're going to send you out a little prize. And that's a wrap for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to visit the website. Use promo code SPRING30. And we'll see you guys tomorrow in the next live video. Bye, everybody.